G'day. In this video, we're going to look at using power series to analyze stationary critical points of a function. In particular, we're going to look at this function here, f of x is x sine of uh, x cubed. We're going to firstly write down the Maclaren series, that's the Taylor series about zero, using the series for sine, which is a series you ought to know. And then we're going to uh, look at the critical point zero. Now, the first stage of this problem is really very straightforward because with power series, you just need to do substitution. They're very robust. You can just treat them like infinite polynomials. So we'll take this, the, uh, the known series here for sine and substitute uh, x for x cubed and, that will give, and then multiply by x squared and that will give me the series for uh, the function I've got here. So what we have is that f of x will be simply x squared times the sum from 0 to infinity minus 1 to the k x cubed, let's write it this way, 2k plus 1 over 2k plus 1 cubed. And we can expand that out a little bit to get the sum. Well, we might as well bring the x squared in while we're doing it. k is 0 to infinity minus 1 to the k x. Now it will be x to the 6k plus uh, 5 over 2k plus 1 factorial. And if you write the terms out there, we're going to begin with an uh, x to the 5 when k is 0. And the next term will be x to the, well, x to the 11, won't it be? x to the 11 over 3 factorial plus and so on. And that's as far as we really need to go. Okay. Now, the next thing we want to do is we're asked to check that the uh, x equals 0 is a uh, stationary point. But that's immediate from the series here because the leading term is at x to the 5. That's the first time there's a non-zero uh, derivative, the fifth one. So clearly the first derivative is 0 because there isn't uh, an x term here x equals 0 is a stationary point as uh, f dash of 0 equals 0 from the series. That's what you need to say. Next question to answer is what type of uh, stationary point is it? Is it a minimum, a maximum, or an inflection point? Well, there's a theorem that you've got that tells you what to do here. Uh, the first non-zero derivative is power 5, as I said a minute ago, and if this is an odd power, then you must have a point of inflection. So as the first non zero well let's say it this way power in the series is x to the five and five is obviously odd zero is an inflection point a horizontal inflection point technically in fact we uh, could have told ourselves that before we did any calculus at all, really. This is an odd function. Sine is an odd function. Sine of x cubed must be odd multiplied by x squared, just leaves us as odd. And you've got an odd function with a turning point at zero. It can't be an inflection point, can't be anything else. Thank you.